what is going on? Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA. We are gonna take you through a leg session. However, what makes this leg session different than any of the other ones I've done before is I'm just gonna do some different movements, okay? Stuff I really haven't done before. Uh, right now, as I'm you know, taking care of a bicep recovery uh, or the torn bicep, I'm just trying to maintain as much size and current strength that I have uh, and also just have some fun in the process. So I'm going to take you guys through a couple quad exercises that maybe you haven't seen on the channel before and then I'm also going to do some hamstring work. Uh, so that's going to be it. But before we even get into it, I got to take some pre-workout. So I got HD Pre Baby Sour Peach Ring, my favorite flavor. I got this Red Solo Cup, which there may be this in there or maybe something else that makes me feel really good. No, I'm just kidding. It's always going to be this. Uh, so if you guys want, go use the code ZATSTRENGTH at checkout, HD Muscle, best supplements on the market. So let's chug this and let's get into some heel elevated SSB squats. All right guys, uh, so these are actually the ramps we use for the car deadlift. Uh, so when you're trying to put your car on the car deadlift frame, just a basic ramp, but you can use different things in your gym for other purposes. So right now I'm gonna use them just to elevate my heels slightly. Uh, main reason we're gonna do this variation is just to target the quads a little bit more, okay? That knee is definitely gonna travel forward. Uh, another quick refresher is we did the knees over toes guy workout, which I'll link right above here, so check that out. Uh, just for overall knee health and kind of just getting my thoughts on what he's all about. So make sure you check the video out. But starting it off, uh, we're gonna be doing this. I'll probably do three to four sets, anywhere from eight to 10 reps. The reason I'm using the SSB bar is because of my bicep tear. It's just a really comfortable grip right now for me and will cause a lot of pain, so I'm fully extending my arm. So this is the best variation for me, but of course you can do any variation that you want. It could be a high bar, a low bar, a different type of barbell, whatever. Um, the main point being that our heels are gonna be elevated. So as we squat down, as you guys can see, right, I'm gonna be able to get a little bit deeper. That's gonna put a little bit more emphasis on the quads here. So just something different for you guys to try. So let's get to it. All right, so I actually made a quick adjustment. I brought my feet in a little bit more narrow uh, just to add even more variation to what we're already doing. So heels are elevated using the SSB bar and it's a narrow stance. So heavy impact on the quads. Uh, and then we're also doing, uh, instead of hack squats, just flipping our body around uh, where our face is pointed toward the machine. And that's kind of mimicking like a leg press. I don't have a leg press here and I wanted to change it up. The other thing that makes it slightly different is a lot of people like doing hack squats uh, just because overall systemic fatigue is gonna be different than like a higher low bar squat. Uh, when you flip backwards, that really takes all the pressure basically off your back essentially even more so than the normal hack squat variation so just feels really good on the lower back it's delivering a great quad stimulus so uh, we're actually going to kind of superset going back and forth just because uh, one time management busy day today so supersets are great for that uh, and uh, just trying to get it in and get a lot of blood flow to the quads and hiking and that ain't helping either right now but it's good so if you guys are looking to increase your quads try this out SSB elevated heel close or narrow stance spicy to beat me in strength training because she is getting crazy strong and basically 
like neck and neck with me right now. So can't let her beat me. Cannot let her beat me. So sets and reps with this. We're gonna go three to four sets. A little bit higher volume, uh, so probably 12, 15 rep range. Now, if you ever had a thought where it only makes sense to you, you try to convey it, I'm gonna do that right now. If you've ever seen the movie Ace Ventura, there's a scene where he's stuck in a mechanical rhino and he's sweating like crazy. And then he has to escape. So he literally presses his way out the rectum of the mechanical rhino. There's a family standing there and they're watching Jim Carrey climb out of a rhino's butt. It's hilarious. I don't know why, every time I do these, that's for some reason what I think of. So, <laughs> if it makes sense, cool, if not, it's just what I think of every time I'm doing these. And if you haven't seen H. Ventura, get off this dang video, go pop it in, pop it in if we still do those. You need a VHS tape or a DVD. And uh, hit play on that bad boy. Thank me later. So I've given up on recommending weights to Coach Tanya because if you watched the last video, I you know try to push her and she ended up getting just pinned in the bottom. So we're gonna play conservative on whatever her call is for the, the weight jumps. My worry, you're so kind. I'm just looking out for you. Looking out for you. There's nothing worse than ruining your confidence. <laughs> but I know that is someone true. like believing in you and like you believing in yourself right and then just eating it in the ground. So <laughs> I don't want to do that to anybody ever again. So she went on, 25? Yeah. I was going to tell her to do 45, she put 25 on. Let's see how it looks. so strong. How are you getting so strong? Must so be cool. a HD, right? HD supplements? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's all that crazy. Crazy. I swear they should. People are worried about, you know, weed in the Olympics. Crazy. That's the true, the true performance enhancing drug right there. Alright, it's 350. Just hit eight. I wasn't gonna do this, but she should definitely do three plates. I, I told you I don't want her to beat me, but I kind of do. I need to pass on the torch oh, to somebody. Right, right. And Coach Tanya. Why don't we pick someone? I think she's the one. A little more she's equivalent the to one. body weight. You were supposed to take the den and grow it. Q in there would be one seed. Anakin. That's how I feel right now. Uh, this is our last. 
full send, baby. Time to cut up or shut up? Come on. Let's go. Good, dad. Maybe just the uh, just an atlas stone, just sitting there, chiseled. Here lies the body of Coach Joe with the stone that killed him. I go to low stone, but my knees just snap in and it just breaks my neck. I'm gonna say I always hated leg day. Yeah? yeah, you should just have the hack squat on top, and then people can come and like do some reps, and I'll be like. Your body weight always permanently loaded on the hack squat. Be like, can you squat Coach Tanya 100 times? If you do, it'll raise her from the dead. Like, uh, like Beetlejuice. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> People would try. I feel like we're on to something. Because, you know, here in the, the States, or the, yeah, I think death is viewed as such a sad time, which it is, don't get me wrong, but we gotta make it a little bit more joyful, right? So, what's better than. Yeah. I guess to show you, we were clearly not thinking Let's be honest, guys. You're not here for the training anymore. <laughs> You're here for the talk. I talk about freaking old fashions and bourbon, That's and I got like, more comments I, on that. I want my day job back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I feel you. But, oh, side note, Four Roses Bourbon. Right now, it's on my top, my top of the list. Uh, and then I got gifted a Wild Turkey 101. So, that was really strong, and I finished that. But I'm getting better at the old fashioned. I still have to make a Manhattan. I just got the vermouth to make a Manhattan. Uh, so things are going good in the old fashioned department for Coach Joe. Although, definitely don't recommend it before your uh, pressing seminar. You have to run the following day. That's rough. Coach Joe fears paper cuts. one today. I think it's a super set. It's just gnarly. It's like double pod focus. So next we have um, leg extensions with the reverse hyper. So I have a leg extension machine. I don't have one of those what are they, monkey feet mat. I see all these monkey feet posts all the time now. You know what I'm talking about? So it's like a boot that you put on that attaches a dumbbell to it. You haven't seen those? Never. So they offered to send me one. And I always just decline this stuff, but I keep seeing them all the time now. So basically it's a boot that you clamp a dumbbell to and you can do like hamstring curls or leg extensions with, I think knees over toe guys, the guy that makes them actually, or eat, something like that. Uh, but anyway, we don't have that. So we're gonna do leg extension on the reverse hyper for probably three sets, higher volume, 15, 20 reps. And then we'll move on to two hamstring exercises that I've really been digging how to finish it up. Matt, turn the camera off. They can't see me in this state of failure. Alright, start rolling. Alright, so 
We have the quad extension, aka the reverse hyper sitting backwards. So I just put this strap kind of right on my toes. I had my knee sleeve pulled down because I learned the hard way. I did a bunch of these one day and basically just gave myself a uh, rug burn all over my ankle. So once we here, getting that full extension of the knee. And we'll do three sets, 15, 20 reps. This would be kind of like a warm up set. Kind of gauge the weight, maybe I'll do like 10 here, switch, see how I'm feeling. Um, but if you have a reverse hyper and you don't have a leg extension machine, these are great. Uh, and if you do have a leg extension machine, cool, sweet bro. You're doing great in life. All right. Now is this ideal? Not exactly, but life isn't ideal. You gotta, you gotta turn lemons into tequila. So that's what we're doing. All right, all right, she, all right watch it there. I just saw some hips. All right, switch legs. Yeah, that's when you know it's a good time to stop is when you start using hip drive on the, the quad extension. Shin, and then she had this sheath of iron over top of it. Leaky <laughs> <laughs> boy! Leaky <laughs> <laughs> <Sneaky> boy! <laughs> hey! What's up, scoundrel? I saw you up there. <laughs> Rumor has it, or should I say, I saw you up legend there. has it that Zeke trained his one leg so hard it fell off. You're hardcore? You don't know anything. Right, Zeke? They don't know anything. Yeah, I was doing leg extensions and I felt this snap, crackle, pop. I thought it was my Rex Krispies that I ate for breakfast. Then Go I realized him. my leg fell down and I have no leg. Oh, my word. That's, uh, that, he got a voice that's totally hard to talk Alright, guys. So that concludes our quad uh, focus portion of this training session. Hopefully you guys uh, like some of this exercise. Now we're gonna move on to hamstring. Uh, Coach Matt suggested a phenomenal exercise. I actually really have never done it. I've seen it done. Maybe I've done something similar to it, but we're gonna do some Ukrainian deadlifts using a duck walk pin, standing on some boxes, getting a really good hamstring stretch. Uh, so feel free to try these. And then we are going to do uh, some back extensions for the glutes and the hamstrings. Uh, so very excited uh, to toast them. Actually, this last week, my butt cheeks were sore for like six days, which shows that it's just a novel stimulus for me. And I'm gonna start throwing them in more. It's like a small size we used to do like years ago, like, you know, high school and earlier on, but just kind of got away from it. So, you know, always a time place for everything and reintroducing some movements back into the program. Like I said, just having fun, trying some different exercises out for your leg training day. And if you wanna change any of this stuff, you can always play with uh, tempo, right? You can add a cadence to your lifts. If you're looking for some more time under tension, you could add bands, you could add chains, uh, you know, you could do a pause, etc. These are variables you can play with to make things easier or harder with the exercise you're doing. Yeah, see the distinct thing was 
be able to be seen to the public. Right the fourth wall. <laughs> Not good. Um, so you create a deadlift, you actually have two variations. So you have the full deadlift, which Joey would be able to do like 10, 45s on. So we're not gonna do that today. Um, we're gonna focus on the actual like hamstring hypertrophy version of a Ukrainian deadlift, which might have seen from out crawl. Um, the cool thing with this is Joey's allowed to come down to this position and actually roll his back forward. So you don't have to keep that normal flat back position with it. And then his leg position is really similar to think with an RDL, uh, where you're gonna set that bend in your knee we're going to keep it there the entire time. So he's not really changing his knee position as he's going through this movement. He's rolling forward with his back. You'll see that back rounding, and that's okay in this case. Uh, again, we're adaptable to multiple movements, so that's not going to hurt him, hopefully. Uh, this feels actually great. Um, we should do something similar in weightlifting, where you would like, I guess it's the same thing, but actually it's not for weightlifting, a lot lighter weight for like warming it up. But I like it because it's like a flexion row at the bottom. And I'm also getting a really good hamstring activation. This is a great exercise. Yeah, if you don't have the hamstring curl in your gym, this is probably my next my next favorite. Yeah, wow. But even like your back, like so much I'm getting in with my back as well. That great stretch, holy crap. Oh man, you're gonna like this song again. I can feel it all the way to that high hamstring butt cheek territory. So we'll do these uh, three sets, probably like 10 to 12 reps, and then uh, finish up with some back extensions. Get around there, all the way forward. Up. Uh, you're really good at these. Wow. They're a great form. I mean, I just learned these, but I think it looks pretty good, man. Don't you think? Keeping that knee angle the same the whole time, getting that good rounding of the that good rounding is how I quality. quality that quality rounding triggering the masses my next tweet is going to be like I don't care how strong you are if you pull sumo you're still a coward This is that first hamstring workout I've done in like years. No, the last two years that hasn't had any lying hamstring crawl ball. We, we use that every single time. So this is different. This is cool, but I like it, you know? There's the new age of hamstrings is upon us. All right, so the last exercise was to do uh, two, three sets of anywhere from, you know, 12 to 20 reps, depending on how well you are at these. However, just some back extensions, we're really trying to squeeze the glutes at the top uh, get a little bit of hamstring in there and uh, we'll finish up with these. So overall, been a really solid session, some different movements we haven't really done on the channel in a while or ever. So hopefully you guys have some new ideas and uh, can kick some ass with your training. All right, guys, there you have it. That's our leg session from today. Throw these exercises in your training. Uh, hopefully you guys learned some things, had some fun with us. You know, we're trying to keep it informative, educational, and entertaining at the same time. Uh, but if you guys need help with programming, okay, tons of programs at strength.net. We got Hypertrophy 101, 
the number one selling high pressure program in Bucks County. Uh, so check those out. We got a squat program specifically increase your squat and leg strength, tons of other programs on there. Uh, so head over there and then there's Facebook group, The Iron Lions on Facebook, where we just put our articles, uh, form checks. A lot of people are just talking amongst each other with things that are related to strength sports and uh, strength and conditioning as well as nutrition. We'd really love to have you. And uh, that's pretty much it guys. So until then, stay a lean meat track machine. Catch you guys next time. Peace.